Hello, and welcome back to the Ashlands. Today we'll be talking about the hottest new threat in Valheim's new biome, the Lava Blob. Well, the wiki was quite wrong about this one, and I'm glad I do my own decompilation. The Lava Blob weighs in at 300 health and cannot be staggered. These blobs also never seem to spawn in with stars. Surprising no one, they're immune to fire, but they're also resistant to pierce and poison. The good news is that they're weak to blunt, frost, and lightning damage, and their only attack embraces the philosophy of the Divine Wind by jumping towards their enemy and exploding. This explosion deals 70 blunt and 30 fire damage in a rather large area. It also does a number on buildings. An important note is that this thing still explodes when you kill it, so don't be nearby. To the great disappointment of all Fenris enjoyers, your best protection comes from just wearing heavy armor. I'm sorry, it's not even that close. This protection can also be further enhanced by drinking a fire resist potion. When it comes to killing these blobs, if you're using a melee weapon, you're doing it wrong. If it's close enough to hit with a stick, don't even bother, just run or tank it. Obviously, the best arrow to use is the Frost Arrow. The best bow is the Spine Snap, and later on, the Storm Fang. Your best option, magic-wise, is the Dead Razor and a Staff of Protection, because all the other staffs will just piss it off. The Frost Staff can also work, but it's a bit inconsistent if you have a particularly aggressive blob. After you kill it, it will drop 1-2 to two Powder and 1-2 to two Sulfur Stones. And with that, we've actually already covered every aspect of fighting the new Lava Blob enemy. If you found this video helpful, it would be greatly appreciated if you could hit the like and subscribe buttons, as it will help others find this video. Happy gaming, and don't get nuked in the Ashlands.